Hello everyone, my name is Isabella. I am a macrame maker, educator and author of the book Macrame for the Modern Home. Today I'm going to share with you a really fun project, how to make macrame earrings. I will share with you three different designs. So one, two, and three so that you can create your favorite macrame earrings and you can customize it by picking a different color a different shape of um, of the earrings uh, loop um, so let's start i cannot wait to see your version of the earrings so if you are going to make them please don't forget to share them with me on instagram tagging me at underscore to me so let's start and have some macrame fun for today's earrings, what we need is um, some earrings loops. These are four centimeters in diameter. We need some masking tape, some sharp season, a comb, a measuring tape, and some macrame string. This is called single twist and is uh, 1.5 millimeters in uh, diameter. Okay, this is another type similar um, thickness 1.5 and um, i'm gonna use the pink just because it's easier um, for you to see me making the earrings but any colors obviously of your um of your choice we're gonna start by um fixing um one of our earrings loops on our uh, on our table with a piece of uh, masking tape i'm just gonna do this here okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our um, strings okay and we're going to cut them 15 centimeters okay and what we need is four of them okay so just place them here what oops one and then i put them together like this two three and four I'm just gonna cut okay all right so we take then take our first piece of string we're gonna fold it in half and we make a lark head knot okay so what we do we fold it in half and we put it through the loop okay and then we put our string in like that Okay, and we do that for all our strings, okay? I'm gonna cut one more in here because that one's got the tape, so. Okay. Okay. So at this point, if you want, you could just leave um, your um, your string like that. Okay, we simply brush it. Okay, so it's nice and fluffy. it. Okay, and then what you do? We decide how long you want your um, your um, your tassel, okay, to be, and you just cut it, okay, and you can cut it straight, okay, like this. There's one string that escaped, or you can cut it um, on a V shape, okay. So this is the first version. Now we're gonna do a second version and what we're gonna do is once again, I'm just gonna fix my um, ring loops here, okay? And we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna cut four strings, 15 centimeters long, okay? So I'll just let me do it quickly. And we're gonna place these four strings on your um, earring loop We're using the lock set knot like we've done okay so once again you fold your string you put it through your earring and you're gonna pull okay and we're gonna do the same with all of them try to make um, sure that they're all 
they're all the same length okay just makes your life easier so i'm gonna put through here and the two more this one here and here okay so what we're gonna do next is our next knot which is called the square knot okay it's nice sticks and what we're gonna do we're gonna do our square knot so we're gonna use our four strings okay we're gonna fold this in we fold a string number one to make a number four like this we then take the last string and as you can see if i move this away it goes over the tail of our four under the two middle one and through the four And then you pull okay i'm going to show this step again because i want to make sure that you get this step and once you've got this you got the knot so we've got our four strings the two string in the middle okay stays nice and straight not overlapping okay and then we take string number one and we make a four okay we take the last string which goes over the tail underneath the two middle string and through the four from underneath Okay, and we pull nice and tight. Okay, and then we repeat the opposite way. So we've got the four pointing towards the right. We've got the string goes over, under, and through. Okay, like this. There we go. Okay, we're going to repeat the same with the last four strings. Okay. So we're going to do the four pointing towards the left. The last string goes over the tail, underneath the two straight string and through the four. And we're going to pull. And then we're going to do the four the opposite way. Okay, so the four pointing towards the right. And the string number one goes over the tail, under the two middle string and through the four. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four string in the middle. So we put the first two and the last two aside and we're gonna do a square knot here in the middle with the four string in the middle. So once again, we do the four pointing towards the left i'm gonna go over the tail underneath the two straight one through the four okay and then we do the four pointing towards the right over the tail under the two straight one and through the four and we pull and this is our second version of our earring and what we're gonna do we're gonna brush again our strings okay okay and once again we'll remove it from here and then we can cut the fringe at any length you want okay so usually gather them together like this with my finger okay so this is the second version of video earring okay and now we're gonna do the last one okay so for the last one um once again we put our um earrings we're gonna fix it on on our table i've got my masking tape oops make sure this one is closed okay so this time our strings are gonna be a little bit longer so we're gonna go and we're gonna cut them of 25 okay so once again we're gonna get four strings and they're gonna be 25 centimeters long okay 
you probably don't need as much but it's easier um, when your strings are a little bit longer to do the knots so that's why um, I think to begin with 25 is perfect okay so once you've done your um, your strings we start exactly in the same way so lock set knot okay we're gonna put it over And through okay so we do that for all our four strings using the lock set knot and and then we're gonna do the same with the last one okay perfect what we're gonna do next is the same steps that we did for our second earrings okay so we're gonna make our square knots okay so start with the first four and what we're gonna do is our square knot okay so four points towards the left and four point towards the right to make our first square knot you take the next string we repeat okay and we're gonna do our square knot point towards the left and then we're gonna do our square point towards the right there we go so square knot one square knot two and then what we're gonna do we're gonna take our four strings in the middle and we make one square knot yeah oops there we go okay so next we're gonna learn a new knot okay and this is called the double half hitch knot so what we're gonna do we're gonna take string number one and we're gonna use this as a guide. I'm gonna zoom in and see if that, there we go. Let's see if that helps. Okay, let me move this here and hopefully it will help for the last knot, yeah. So this is our guide, okay? Our guide goes over all our strings, okay? We're gonna take string number two and it's gonna go over our guide and through this loop and then we're gonna pull gently, okay? So that is one then we're gonna do it again so from the front it goes behind and through and we make another loop okay so one two we're gonna ten, ten, then take the next string sorry about that and it goes over through and then we repeat it over and through okay we then take the last string, okay, in the middle, and once again, same knot, go over, go over and through, then go over and through. Okay, so we have, we've done one diagonal line of double half H. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. Okay, make sure that you don't uh, overlap your string so we take the last string as our guide okay it goes over all your other strings like this we then take the next string and it goes over through and you pull gently okay and we do it again so it goes over and through okay just let me get another piece we then take the next string, it goes over, through, and then over and through. And then the last one is um, the, um, the guide from this line. So can you see? Okay. We want to close the two lines. Okay. So it's going to go over, through, and then it's going to go over and through. Okay, so what we have here is our 
square knots and then the two diagonal line of double half edge okay so now what you could do like i'm gonna zoom out like we did um before okay you can brush and cut your fringe the other thing you could do if you wanted is to use this as a guide again and do two line or double half edge okay and uh, if you wanted to add anything else you can do that but perhaps you will have to do with longer strings okay i think the length of the 25 centimeters that we had at the beginning is to have this design and perhaps adding another line of double half h okay once again we cut the fringe and voila so what we have done is basically the three stages but also a three different type of um, earring so this one very tussly this one with the square knots and this one with the double half edge okay you can also play with colors so you could alternate different colors um, you can uh, cut your um, your end on a v-shape so perhaps i can just do it quickly here okay like that if you want to um, have more of a v-shape that um, kind of resemble the um, double half hitch line okay okay so we can have the v shape we can have it straight and perhaps this one could be different colors so i encourage you to um to play around with this simple design to create your own earrings perfect for the summer festivals parties garden parties um and also a uh, great little presents that you can make for uh, for family and friends i hope you um enjoyed the uh, the tutorials if you are stuck with any of the knot please visit my website isabellastramdio.com and in there you can download um a folder with all the step by steps on how to make the uh, knots we've learned today i hope you enjoyed it and um, please Tag me on the uh, social media and um, if you um, if you make the earrings, I would love to see them and have a lovely day. Bye.